Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I am going to be doing a, it's good, not necessarily a pearl pour, it's going to be like massive amounts of lace. Lace, lace, lace. Um, I'm still using my $2 um, mist tint from Home Depot. It's bare. I can't, oh, there we go. See that it's not spilling out yet, almost. So it is a satin enamel. It is an outdoor. So maybe that's why I'm getting so much lacing on these. It's, I mean, it's crazy how much. But um, I'm going to be trying out something new tonight. These are called hands off. And what you do is you put these underneath your um, canvas and you're able to tilt with just holding this. The only problem I've been having right now is getting it level. So I'm going to introduce my colors and then I'm going to work on leveling it and I'm going to do my edges too. So this color is a leftover and it is color shift in flash white and flash silver. And I've added a little bit of titanium white to this to um, give it a little bit of opacity. Then I have, this one's dripping, um, I have Amsterdam Expert in oh, do, 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 turquoise green and I've added some golden titanium white to it. This one doesn't require it for opacity, it's already very opaque but I wanted to adjust the color. And this one is Deco Art Americana Acrylic. And this is doo -doo 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 -doo, Carousel Pink. And this, I've also added some titanium white to it. There we go. This is Amsterdam Expert Series. And this is Permanent Violet Opaque. We also have Magenta. And this Magenta is a leftover Pebio Studio in, jeez, um, why didn't I know these colors by heart by now? Violet Blue Iridescent. And I added some Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta to it wanted to make it a really nice magenta and it's producing some really cool effects. And then I have this one, which is a, com I started out with the sandbar from um, Courage Posse and I wanted to make a yellow, kind of a yellow. So I mixed up um, golden yellow ochre, no, yellow oxide, sorry, and Naples yellow hue. So that's what this is. And all of my paints are the same consistency, including my base paint. And I'll leave the recipe in the description. It's kind of a haphazard recipe because this isn't really, there's no satin enamels in this except for the actual paint that came from Home Depot. So given that, I am going to clear this away See if I can um, see if I can get this level. Maybe it's just a matter of moving it over or something. I don't know. In any case, I'm going to try and get it level, and I will be back and I'll show you how I attach these. Back in a flash. Okay, guys. So I got it level, but I had to. And this quite possibly is my table here. It's not completely level, although I thought I had leveled it when I put it on. But um, yeah, it's um, now it's level. But what I had to do was I had to put a double towel under this one and then a single to towel under these two. Um, when you tighten the screws, they don't go in completely all the same. So um, I want to show you how this works. So, I didn't even notice that you couldn't see. You know my phone, I've got this gooseneck thing 
that um, doesn't, um, I don't know. I try all these new th gadgets all the time and some work, some don't. So this is the device, okay? You want to do is slide it between the, the wood and the canvas. Take your screw. Can you see me? I think you can see me. And then just screw it in, not too tight. It's righty tighty here. Now, if you if you flip it over, then it'll be lefty loosey to tighten it. So it's not lefty loosey anymore if you're if you're over, if you turn it over. So yeah, that's all you do. But for some reason, the screws, I don't know why. You would think that they're all the same size and that gives me food for thought that maybe it's my, maybe it's me, maybe it's, I don't know. I don't have too many, tr too much trouble with um, um, leveling my canvases. It's usually off by a smidge but not, not much more. So after you're finished with this, that's why I want to get it nice and level because I'm going to be letting it dry like this. So after you're finished, you can let the paint collect here and then soak it in a hot tub and just peel it off. They look like they're really well constructed. They're called hands-off handles. Hands-off handles. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give them a try tonight because you know I don't like to wear gloves. I even cleaned my hands just for this. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip it over now and I am going to paint my sides. I'll be back. recording and all of a sudden it stopped well anyhow <laughs> this would be a nice pour just as it is but these um, those brown cells are gonna come through and lace this thing right up I'm really happy with this oh my gosh I don't even care about these squigglies yeah so I'm just gonna let this sit guys I am NOT going to play with it I know I know famous last words there's some really cool lacing happening here with the magenta mixing with the um, that yellow. But you can see right now, it's even pulling from the corners already. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit, guys. I'm gonna give it a torch. This is really cool. I wish it would just stay. Just stay. But it won't. You'll understand why I put so much paint on in like about an hour. It's going to, the, the, the brown from the uh, mist tint is going to eat up a lot of the color. So I wanted to put as much color as I could. And I think I succeeded. But yeah, mixing this um, flash, the silver flash and the white flash with the purple and the magenta is spectacular. I'm just so happy. All right, I'm going to put you guys on fast time lapse because this could sit here for a while. And I might do something with this. I'm not sure, okay. I'll be back in a bit. I'm, I don't know if you guys got shut off when 
before I tilt it or what? Oh God, I hope not. We'll see. Yeah, it was operator error. I, um, I'm blaming it on my new device to hold the phone because it's got a gooseneck on it. So I try not to wiggle you guys around too much. And then, um, yeah, I did, so I don't press hard enough and I didn't record. But anyhow, that all aside, I love how these veins like have multicolors in them. And then there was some really cool lacing here. Um, yeah, no, that um, Amsterdam greenish blue with the titanium white, that was a color I had mixed just before the pour. So this is what happens when you don't wait. You get those little bubbles and uh, yeah, this is my favorite corner. It's so cool. Look, and it shines so cool right there. It's that, that is just, I love it. I just love it. Anyhow, and I'm glad I did this swipe in the end. Of course, you guys only saw that in fast motion. So I have I'm a complete fail tonight on videography. I get an F. But, uh,. Yeah, I wish you guys could have seen the pour and the tilt. Especially since during the tilt, I was going, ooh, this is nice. Um, yeah, tilting with the, this device is really cool. So I'll do another one. And I apologize to the owner of Hands Off. Um, for being technically challenged. I love that magenta. And I added a few things in here. So, yeah, yeah. But the, the shimmer on it is just, it, the camera's not really picking it up. Maybe if I go in closer. There we go. Yeah, something's up with my camera too. It's filming everything backwards. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Look at that. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Yeah, I really like that um, color shifts. Those color shift colors. Folk art. All right, guys. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.